What the f now now this only makes me want to go in more you know what i mean i'm like what the f are they hiding in there what is happening in there what are they hiding we must know On June 21st of the solar year 2019, Joe spoke to a whistleblower, right. Bob Lazard. Now, Bob claims to have worked at the Area 51. And so, Joe summoned him to his sensory deprivation satellite, where he could ask him probing questions about the that government facility. machine that was able to read the, the size of your dicks. And yeah. Huge. View for yourself this incredible testimony before the UN dun, takes dun, it dun. down. You used to work at Area 51. When did things get weird? Well, the way this went down was I only got hands on with one of them. And I was Community. fucking an Thank alien. You. It produced a little discharge from the bottom. It was exciting. You know, we turned the lights on and all these guys are there. So what in the fuck is this? We have, you know, actual hardware from another civilization. It's a big, um, live in a house that's bullshit i like just swinging around on trees Absolutely. we are the sex organs of the machine world but for people who don't know let's give them the bullet points how right. tall are you i'm 5'10 you don't seem to have any muscle you know, almost like a frame is there anything else you'd like to say well the disc the flying saucer that i worked on i saw it sitting there and i thought oh my god hey bob it's probably a good idea if you shut up it's karma. You deserve I worked underground with the aliens. They shot my hand off. They're underground. There's bases. They're shooting lasers through the Earth's crust. And they move them at light speed. You, you big fucking... What? I'm not even doing anything. Drop dead. Hey, why don't you come on out to the Nevada desert? Deal. Get the fuck out. All right. That's it, folks. Good night. It reached the right man at just the right time. A 21-year-old named Matthew Roberts. He had heard about aliens in Area 51 before, and he believed. He wanted to see them, real bad. But what could he do? How could he possibly get into Area 51 to check him out? Think, 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 think. Scenario one, if I ran into Area 51, I would be shot and killed. Scenario two, if me and all of my friends ran in, we'd both be killed. But scenario three, if there were so many of us, thousands, so much fodder that they eventually ran out of bullets, then someone surely is gonna get through and touch the government in its special area. My God. Within minutes, he was drafting a Facebook post. They can't stop all of us. I'm willing to die for the government, let's do this. On September 20th, 2019, we'll all meet up at the Area 51 Alien Central Tourist Attraction and coordinate our entry. If we Naruto run, we can move faster than their bullets. Let's see them aliens. This event then goes into the ether. And from here, it was up to the Facebook algorithm gods to decide what would happen next? Let me take it off your There's a lot here to be excited about. I think this could be very positive for our society and economy. People from all across the flat world were receiving the invite, and they began pressing the attending button. Within just a couple of days, the event had picked up hundreds of thousands of attendees. People loved the idea so much, they began making memes about how they were going to raid the base. So many I can barely show you a fraction of them, rapid firing them out like the bullets that would soon be gunning them down. 
And so the event spread and spread around the internet, eventually morphing into everyone who is something is going to raid Area 51. Young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. Nigel, a runner. No pointer, runner. Stevens, agent. Simon, a runner. Freeman, 713. I am a sentinel. Everyone's doing their part. Are you? What's he gonna do? We have the ships. We have the weapons. Kept trying to put his gun down. We need soldiers. We need you all. And just like that, the game was on. Air time. time. Oh man, it works so perfectly, dude. Right at the top of the hour. How how does that happen? You know. <laughs> Here's the one minute ad break now. Ad over. Welcome to the mission brief. Let's do a bit of background on Area 51. Secret military base, first developed in 1955. This is what it looks like on Google Maps. It's approximately this big. Total area size, 51. And the volume, a big mystery. Until 1997, the government refused to even acknowledge that it existed. That is, until they were forced to by lawsuit. That lawsuit was about the death of two men who were former employees. And how did they die? Well, not aliens, but rather toxic fumes from burning garbage. Yeah, so what they would do is burn a whole bunch of cool, high-tech refuse on the lot, let the deadly smoke blow downwind, and the staff was stuck breathing it in. A few years later, bing bing bong, cancer. Other than that, the public hasn't really been told anything. So all people can do is speculate as to what the hell is going on in there. I think that they are keeping remnants of a UFO there. We don't know if it's aliens, we don't know if it's time travel, we don't know if there's minions in there. Uh, virtual reality that seems so incredibly sexy. But what has been leaked is that they do Test flights on new alien craft. Motherfucker, don't you tease me. Come on. Ah! Produce new alien tech. Breed the latest version of the newest gayest frog. Do not get it confused with Roswell. That's over here. Area 51's over here. And the final thing that we know is that security is top notch. They have that thing locked down. So, you want to break in anyway. Okay, but it's going to require some research. And the first thing to find out, has anyone ever tried breaking in before? Yes, several times. In fact, in January of 2019, an unnamed man broke through security barriers and drove eight miles into the base. He got out of his car with a metal cylinder in his hands and the military opened fire. He was shot dead at the scene. And there was this time when a film crew from the BBC was arrested for trying to get in. This is BBC News. This time when a vacationing family of four went off track. You get the idea. They're not messing around. Put your fucking hand. Bro, I feel like I, I feel like this makes it more serious than it actually is. Like, even if it's just like a regular fucking even if it's literally just like a regular facility, which it probably is what the fuck now now this only makes me want to go in more you know what i mean i'm like what the fuck are they hiding in there what is happening in there what are they hiding we must know Hands up. I'm not gonna tell you again. but there's one story to top them all and will disguise his identity but he is my personal hero the month is november the location <laughs> someone said the metric system yeah that's what they're hiding las vegas and the protagonist a professional limo driver now he's more than a little unhinged he decides to start harassing and sending death threats to a lawyer, whom we think was going to represent his defense for this incident. If you've ever seen this TikTok, that's our boy doing donuts and driving backwards down the Las Vegas Strip. Anyway, fast forward three weeks. Back. It's like six in the morning and this guy is already doing donuts at a car park near the airport. Then he decides to drive from the car park into the airport itself. Offense? No problem. He drives right through it and on to the runway. He's just driving around, whizzing between planes, almost crashing several times before eventually parking on a ramp. At this point, he jumps out, puts on a clown mask, 
and storms right up to a private jet. He announces, aggressively, to the flight staff that there is a bomb in his limo. Quote, I have a fucking bomb. I'm going to blow this place up. His plan? To commandeer this private jet and take it to Area 51. Oh my god. However, they would shoot it, right? As this plan was, the quick response by police meant that it wasn't really working out. So, he bails back to his limo, tries to make an escape. Oh, this motherfucker thought it was GTA time, dude. So this is like some no-pixel shit. At that point, he is quickly arrested. They take him in for questioning, and he starts telling them, That's right, I did it to see the aliens. He also told them to refer to him as the Chosen One. Oh. And, by the way, I have high security clearance. Also, I'm involved with the mob. And someone owes oh. me millions of dollars. He's just the American. Yeah. I, I thought this was going to be unique. No, he's just the average American. Later on, the bomb defusal crew checks out the limo and determines that it's just a fire extinguisher with a bunch of wires and duct tape and some fairy lights. Now, at some point, he gets out, presumably on bail, and CNN reporters walk up to him and start asking him questions. No, no statements from me, he says. But you should talk to my lawyer. And then he proceeds to hand them the business card of the lawyer that he's been sending death threats to for the last three weeks. Amazing. After all that, the judge ordered that he be sent to a mental hospital for assessment. Or so they say. Ooh, how convenient. Okay, what? so people have really died trying to do this. Oh, is he gonna? Is this like a, a, the MK Ultra Hospital or whatever? That means we're gonna have to be a little more covert. So over at Area Fifty One HQ, the military can see that Facebook numbers have reached one million, and it doesn't take a genius to calculate that even if just one percent of them show up, that's. Wait a minute. Run those numbers. This many people. In a crowd that big, there's bound to be at least a few who'll do something stupid. In fact, the military took it so serial Enhance. that they even went over the nuances of Naruto running. This is a real slide, by the way. What? It required a real demonstration, of course. Now, some undercover operative then took a photo of that brief, and they uploaded it to Reddit. They intend to use our tactics against us. All right. So if the military decides to do this, things could go pretty badly <laughs> for Matthew. So Matthew goes back to his mind palace. Think, think, think. Uh, let's not keep saying it's a raid. Instead, let's do a music festival. This would give Matthew an alibi and throw authorities off the scent. I'm willing to music festival. For the government, let's do this. All right, Reddit, here it is. Alien Stock 2019. The official EDM party, hosted by Matthew Roberts, set to take place in Rachel, Nevada, a town that just so happens to neighbor Area 51. It has 50 total residents and practically no infrastructure. Perfect. Yeah, nice try, fellas, said the military. And the captains and the generals all started planning their own EDM party with the deep state. Three groups in particular. Introducing what? Group E. The E Local State Police. Police have their work cut out for them because, owing to this party, they think there could be upwards of 50,000 people descending upon the little town of Rachel. Lincoln County Commissioners trying to tackle the tough task of preparing for a potential inundation of people. And Sheriff Kerry Lee has less than 30 deputies. The county declares a state of emergency, and they allocate an extra $250,000 worth of enforcement for the weekend of the raid, as well as an extra 300 police officers and paramedics. That many people are gonna stress the community to the point that it, it just, it, we can't cope with it. This is some of the most exciting stuff that I've ever gotten to work on, and I'm- Hold on, Mark. Group D, the defense. And I'm gonna take up my gun and shoot somebody. So the FBI agents that showed up, they showed up at 10 a.m. They contacted my mom and they're like, so she texted me, she's like, the FBI's here, answer your phone. So I guess I was kind of scared at this point, but. This report from the Nevada Department of Public Safety was released last year and it features some very interesting details. For example, they caught a group of YouTubers 
trying to <laughs> somebody said they put more effort to stop it than stopping January 6th. Well, yeah, you know, because technically they put a lot of effort into being a part of January 6th, I think, which is like, you know, the opposite of putting effort into stopping January 6th. ...to plant a tracker on the bus that goes to and from the base. We're going to pull an epic prank. Highly illegal. And you may not be that surprised to hear that the military isn't actually that worried about people breaking into the base. Turns out they have automated weapons. Not automatic weapons. Automated. Whatever that is. No. Instead, they think there's potential that real terrorists will, you know, do the thing or a thing. So, counterterrorism was given a budget to sweep for chemical, biological, radiological, and explosive material. Although, nothing was found. And there's just one last group getting involved as well. The mm, corporate press. Disinformation agents in the mainstream media were getting involved. They immediately started warning people not to raid. Use of lethal force authorized. Spouting contempt for the stormers. What started as a joke Facebook event quickly turned into a phenomenon. Reaching well, it million. began as a joke, it but now it's the turned US into Air something Force is taking much these more serious. serious. Astroturfing campaigns by late night ha ha man number one through seven. It's much more likely they'll see them tasers. Ha ha ha, laugh it all up. It's just a big joke. Who say they're interested just keeps growing. Faster than their bullets, let's see them aliens. And they weren't afraid to give some of the biggest, brainest takes you've ever heard. It's not clear the 1.1 million Facebook followers who said they are going to storm Area 51 are real and not Russian bots. You're a goddamn genius! Fine. We'll make you take us seriously. Let the training begin. And speaking of that, I think it's time for my workout. I mean, it wasn't that serious. Like, it, it just wasn't serious at all. Am I crazy? I thought this was just like all memes across the board and that that was what it was. It wasn't like, like 20 people took it seriously. Yeah, I thought it was just like, yeah, but the authorities had to take it seriously. Yeah, I mean. And so the I guess. began training. We train for Area 51. So let's go. Sandwich. They began pushing their body. Pushing their will. Pushing their spirits. Yeah. Pushing. I mean, motherfuckers take pixels seriously, so you know that makes sense. That taking this seriously too. Pushing their friends and families' patience to the limit. Who wants to call me to kick some alien butt? In September, join me. We out. And that's what fitness will be like in the metaverse. As we zero in on the day of the raid, the count is up to 2 million attendees, and that puts us on par with the world's largest standing army. So to coordinate all of these troops, we'll need a battle strategy. Lay it on us. From r slash memes, intel was being filtered down to the troops. Groups such as the Minecraft YouTubers, the Normans, the Weebs, Facebook moms, the Kyle, the Chads, the crack kids. Is this a five o'clock free crack giveaway? Florida man, the Australians, the gay Reddit mods. Okay, this thread is locked. And the North Korean defectors. They all had their role to play. So Godzilla comes in from the east while the Australians oh make a distraction that allows the minion cosplayers to breach from the south. Of course, these very serious strategies would have to be disguised as memes so that they could be spread across YouTube, Reddit, and TikTok without the threat of being... Although, not everyone was as tech-savvy. Authorities managed to nab one of the main cartographers and they pressured him into an interview on the television. Um, it took me a total of five minutes to put this image together. It was sort of like a, a battle strategy almost. It was completely rooted in satire. That was just completely rooted in satire. And no one should raid, this is just completely a joke. Uh, and completely just a joke. Mission counting sheeple complete, you can take him out. <laughs> Okay, so remember how we're not raiding anymore and it's just a music festival? Wink, 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 wink. Well, bad news. Okay, so it sounds like you maybe are looking at changing venues. 
Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> it's all up in the air. We're putting Maddie on the spot here. There's a lot of challenges. So. <laughs> but it's two weeks away, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of got to, like, uh, figure it out, I guess, somewhat soon, right? Yeah, it's all kind of falling up. Bro, when you have straight hair and you get long hair, it's just, like, one of the few people that works it uh, well is moist critical, I feel like. That's it. Especially if you're white, dude. You got, like, white person uh straight hair it just, it's just hard it, it looks like you own multiple mall katanas no matter what which by the way take it from a guy who also owns multiple mall katanas yeah it's all kind of falling apart see matthew had organized alien stock with a few other people but his main business partner was connie west i didn't plan it if hey, you shouldn't be talking about hair with that shit on your head are you kidding me my fucking luscious mane dude my lechuga lettuce it's fucking Especially right now when I'm having a fucking good hair day. Take a better look, chatter. Uh, hello? My hair looks fucking incredible right now. Mm. Ooh. I'm having a good-ass hair day today. I just... I conditioned this shit. Okay? I conditioned the fuck out of this earlier today. Best pick of your hair. Okay, dude. Yeah, my head looks big. That's how... That's how great it is. Planned me. But Matthew is the headliner. His name is attached to everything. And he's starting to get worried about a fire festival type situation in the desert. Be a fire fest 2.0. He wants to make sure there's plenty of water, food, security, Stop. insurance. Geico. I love that this guy cares more about this little thing than, than the owners of fire festival did though. Etc. Etc. Et cetera. And here, deals and communications start to break down. Eventually, there's a lawsuit and it's kind of boring. Things that they were supposed to pay for, I'm stuck paying for. Okay. We're going to skip it. But the TLDR is that they had a disagreement, and Connie said, I don't have to prove to you what I spent. You didn't sign a fucking contract with me to begin with. So guess what? I don't need to prove to you a motherfucking thing. And Matthew said, Matthew then took $70,000 worth of sponsorship money and declared Alien Stock and Rachel cancelled. But then, at the same time, Bud Light walks in. They say, hey, why not do it here? In the Vegas. It has plenty of lighting, indoor plumbing. It has everything. Matthew said yes. And then using the website for Alien Stock, he told everyone to not go to Rachel and instead to go to Vegas. Welcome to Alien Stock Las Vegas. Sponsored by Bud Light. Bud Light. And also Pornhub, but it's a long story. Connie was left to pick up the pieces. However, she would not be discouraged so easily. She decided to press on. It's going to be a great party. No matter what, it's going to be a great party. She had to take full control of the event in Rachel, dipping into her savings and even mortgaging her home. I'm working out of my own pocket. I think this is a liability. I'm out. So is it clear what's going on? It's worth doing a very fast recap because there's an event in Rachel that's been declared cancelled but also not cancelled. Also, I forgot to mention there's an event in Hiko that isn't cancelled but it will be on the second day. There's also that third festival in Las Vegas which has the former promoter of the first one and they both share the same damn name. And none of this has anything to do with the actual raid on Area 51 which is here which has several gated entrances by the way and none of them have been declared the official gathering point. Confused? Yeah, pretty much everyone was. It's a goddamn mess. People, rightfully, put the whole thing in the too hard basket and instead of going to one in the middle of nowhere, just went to the one in Vegas. Let's fast forward to the weekend of the raid. For better or worse, Rachel is about to open its doors to the millennials. Hell yeah! Encore now has come to an abrupt halt. Don't let the aliens get you, kid. Exactly. Do you believe in aliens? I don't. I don't. Run! Get out of here! Oh, you know, I want to hear about the alien liberal agenda. They could have some good talking points. We don't. Let's go, dude. I can't. At this point, it's like I can't tell if this is a person that's memeing or a person that's just a conservative, which is fucking awesome. I love being in that in that state. In, in American history where you're just like, is this just like a regular American or are they just doing this as a meme? What's going on? Fucking awesome. Don't know to protect my mind from interference. We have a wanderer. Don't let me leave, man. It could be anything stuck. 
but it's alien stuff. How do you see walking with that shirt up over your head like that? I don't. And the first ones are supposed to be always, you know, the best ones. Paranormal lawyer, PhD level field investigator. Stuff in downtown Las Vegas. Did they change the name or is it still alien stock? I think I'm on my highest high I've ever been in my life. Look at it. And, and we are taking a look kind of the area here. You've done a, a we lot really of We really needed work Andrew to go to this. He did go to this. The security is here. The medical's here. The food is here. The people are here. And most importantly, the aliens. Say the aliens are here. The toilets are here. Yeah, that was pretty good. I thought she was going to see the aliens. Well, it wasn't quite the event that they had hoped for. The toilets. But they did do a commendable job of acting retarded for the news. This is the most fun I've ever had in my life. Do you think of yourself as a hero? I, I do. Here for scientific reasons. This is like the most millennial thing that's ever happened. But don't let's forget, Hiko or the Heiko. No one knows how to pronounce it. This event was being hosted by George Harris of the Alien Research Center. The owner of the center is Las Vegas businessman George Harris, creator of Alien Tequila. Oh, God. If you God. want to have fun, if you want to have a great look, it's a great day. Base camp was equipped with a vendor village of 10 food trucks, a gift shop, and three-time Grammy Award winner Paul Oakenfold, for some reason. I was told there's a lot of people coming. Uh, well, right. Paul Oakenfold? What the fuck? Bro, people saying who am Megalol? I mean, I'm old. I'm aging myself here. But, like, this dude is, like, literally a, a relatively important figure for electronic dance music. You know what I mean? Like, like a OG. Like a old-ass, like, legendary old-school DJ. Like, straight up. Kind of weird, actually. Right now, things are kind of slow at the Heiko event here, so that's kind of a disappointment. Now, Heiko Base Camp was expecting somewhere between 1,000 and 20,000 attendees. It's quite a range. Maybe 50 people here. Clapping some alien cheeks. Yeah, but no cheeks are clapped yeah, at all. Cheeks. Oh, dude, I, I mean, this is a respectable, respectable thing. What they're trying to accomplish here. More power to you, brother. You know, Godspeed. I, I understand no, this that. Is, this is like the first of a big thing. Uh, but it wasn't. In fact, it seems as though the majority of the attendees were actually the press. One lady believed that her parents is actually alien. So, after the first night, they decided to cut their losses and canceled the whole event. You know, the producers of the show, it's very, very, very expensive. And it just didn't make sense. Because basically all of the attendees were stolen by... Alien Stock 2019! We were going to go after uh, Rachel, and then we decided that we didn't want to get stuck in the desert. Uh, as much as I like Mad Max, I don't want to live it. The Las Vegas Alien Stock, sponsored by Bud Light, was a smash hit. They've got carnival rides, photo ops, video games, and even a pool. No running. Who could have predicted this? You make a post at 2 a.m. with on a page that has 62 likes, and now you have thousands of people that are ready to come out to your show. It's just, it's absolutely amazing. Back at Military HQ in Anor Londo, operations were ramping up. They're adding more guards, upping the security and enforcing a no-fly zone across the county. They were even infiltrating raider groups. You could be standing next to an officer and not even know it. There's a okay. like, undercover presence here. And they were giving stern warnings from the PR team. They posted this tweet. The last thing millennials will see if they attempt to raid Area 51 today. Sorry to disappoint you, Yugi. Huh? You triggered my trap card! Millennials immediately seized upon the tweet, doing what they do best by pretending to be offended, successfully having the tweet taken down, and forcing a public apology. I'm retarded. Alright, this video is getting very long. Let's hurry up to the main event. The Raid. Hey, are you coming? Yeah.
どうする私が入ってもう終わります敵は何千人も今わしらを程度よくてやれ As fuck, no US soldier questions bombing civilians. <laughs> Be a little different on US soil, but. So, yes, no, many snow, I'll be Hana, or you I mean, yeah, it's not physically. Thank you for saving us. We are so grateful and horny. And yes, we wish to be your big titty goth alien GFs. And you won't be a virgin what? Reddit browser anymore. What? I wouldn't quite like that. It was pretty close to something like that.
Although I guess you could say that only a small group showed up to the main gates themselves. Where are the million people? Of over 2 million people? In total, only about 200 actually went. Wow, so I can't believe this is... Bro, this is leftist uh, participation right there. Am I crazy or was that a Democratic People's Republic of Korea flag? That... Did I, did I see that correctly? Are my eyes deceiving me? What's going on there? That counts. Nice outfit. Thank you. Clap them cheeks! Clap them cheeks! Now throw them over! <laughs> People mostly behave themselves. I mean, I think it's awesome you guys are, you guys are following the laws, following directions, so... Yeah. But they weren't about to leave without a consolation prize. Get some of the Area 51 soil. Top secret rock. Top secret rock. Where are they? <laughs> You can have it. It's from Area 51. Thank you. Okay. Also present at the raid were a few YouTubers. Dude, you gotta quit the DPRK meme. People are gonna think you actually love Jusha Deadass. Bro, people think so many things. I don't know what to fucking tell you, okay? They literally believe, like, I believe that the, the Russian invasion of Ukraine was good. Apparently, fucking half of the French streamers now think that I'm, like, anti-Muslim racist or some shit, too. So, I can't. There's no... Dude, there's no controlling. Pet. Pet. We're here to rescue! It's like, it's like Halloween, but we're just annoying people. Are you, are you guys gamers? Playing games? No? You, you watch anime? Yeah, so you got the rebellious youth, and then you got people trying to lure E.T. into a cage with Reese's Pieces and stuff. That's a pretty good summary of the crowd that you have out here this weekend. But respect to the true heroes. Security. For keeping everyone. Ah, just kidding. It's the guys who got underneath this fence. God bless him. Oh, no! And this cameraman, whose foot raided the base. Oh, yeah, I get it. That's a foot I see. And this random woman, who decides to just start walking. Police, right there. No one's stopping her. Oh my god. She's gonna make it. She's going home. Wait, what the fuck? She gets charged for trespassing and receives a $1,000 fine. Ah, but soon it was time the to wrap up. The storm is over. Because everyone's moms were there to pick them up. And if they were late again, there would be big trouble. Okay, good night, everyone. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to sleep now. Psych. Psych, it's not over. There's one more thing that I want to tell you about today. Because storming Area 51 would go on to inspire a plethora of other events. The storming of Loch Ness. I think uh, a lot of people don't know this, but like, I, I don't know anything about Area 51, but I know how military bases work. I'm willing to bet that the military base, like the actual base, is so fucking far from that fence that they're at that it doesn't even matter. Like, most military bases are usually like 10 miles in from the fucking main fence with multiple other uh, uh, checkpoints leading up to it. There's, there's so many other gates that you have to go through that even if they were able to like actually raid the fence and then run in, they wouldn't make it a, more than a mile. A lot, of, a lot of military bases where they experiment with weapons, a lot of military bases like, like the one in Nevada, uh, I was talking to my brother about it, but like, which one is it? The, the one, he brought it up too, not Area 51. Which one is the base in Nevada that is like, Nullis, I think? Or maybe, I don't know, the one that's like up in the desert, like when you leave, uh, when you leave Las Vegas and you go up, or maybe Nas, Roswell, or, or I don't know, w w there's one with like a, like a air base, air force base, I think. One where we basically went to the sand dunes and we did some, some fucking, uh, off-roading in quads. And there's literally a sand dune. And then, um, the guys that we were, uh, driving with were like, if you pee on this side of the fucking sand dune, you're literally peeing on a military base. And there isn't really anything there stopping you from like walking into the military base. But the base is so fucking far from where the line is, where the outline is. It's like 25, 40 miles almost that it doesn't even matter. Roswell is the one. No, it's not New Mexico. There's a Nevada test and training range. I mean, they were definitely, it's basically in Death Valley, a place that kills people due to the heat anyway. It, it's, it's, wh whichever it is, okay? There's probably motherfuckers watching you on satellite, watching you piss. Whichever base it was, I know that they were testing weapons and stuff there. So I think, I don't know which one it was, but. You can't hide from all of us. We think we have seen it. What did it look like? It looks like a big stone. 
over 27,000 said they were going. Actual number six. Okay, but storm the Bermuda Triangle, why not? It can't drown all of us. And potentially millions actually went. But the, you know, the evidence would be lost, so how would you know? I am under the water. Please help me. Or how about storm the Vatican? They can't molest us all. Interesting twist on that one, though. Someone cancelled the event. But overall, everyone had a pretty good time. Isn't that what Area 51 was really built for? Lamau, remember when I said that we were going to do shorter videos? And also, more frequently? Looks like you fell for it. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. See you in the next one in two years. Or check out the Incognito Mode channel. That has a lot more uploads. Most Zoomer fucking video I've ever seen, but a banger? I mean, it's pretty good.